Hi, this is uh, Peggy Lou. It's uh, based on the design Peggy board from Evil Mad Scientist. It's installed in my bathroom, hence the name Peggy Lou. It, uh, it's installed behind a window that used to face out into the backyard, but now uh, is uh, facing into just an, an empty space. When I had the, when they put the wall up and blocked up the window, I had them put a power jack in there, thinking I might do something with it. So it's powered by this outlet right here. It's a panel of 24 by 32 LEDs. Um, bought them from Evil Mad Scientist. There's a plug. Um, it's got a microcontroller based on Arduino behind it. Um, and it's got a single button interface where you can push a button and switch between modes. This is kind of a little waveform mode here. The, uh, the display is uh, <clears throat> a 2x2 two two matrix different colors, so you'll see there's red, green, blue, and white. Um, and so by, but since it's, f since it's uh, behind a kind of a fuzzy window, you can do apparently full color, um, but really at a, tw at a uh, 12 by 16 resolution. Um, there's about 20 different modes in here. Uh, this is a kind of a bouncing, multicolored bouncing ball mode. You saw the waves. There's a mode there that's kind of a flickery, watery green mode. Comes in lots of different colors, green, red, multicolor randomness, fast multicolored randomness, very fast multicolored randomness. The horizontal bars you see on there are not affect the video camera. There's white, a little bit more like water, etc. I can just go through all of these very quickly. There's a blue version of that, a green version of that. Uh, this is kind of water running down. And that happens in different colors. There's green running down, red running down. There's a flying cube. This is a bit of code that I lifted from a Somebody that built a project with a regular Peggy board. This is actually doing doing real 3D rendering, very simple line rendering. Um, this is the one that people find the most annoying. It's very bright in here, fills up the room and can wake you up if you don't have the door closed. What other modes do we have? This is a kind of a shifting color mode. The center of that thing sort of wanders around the screen and goes from black to green. Like the other modes, there's different colors. Blue, red, white, red, uh, multicolor. This is a uh, just a full on. Lights up the room pretty good at night. This is a ver series of vertical bars. This is a color phase, fade, fades between a variety of different colors. Again, those horizontal lines you see there are a uh, start effect of the camera. There's a bouncing white ball. There's gravity and an imperfect um, bounce against the walls and bounce the ground. and a clock. So at night it automatically switches to the clock mode. Um, you can see right now that it's about 225. There's the hour hand and the minute hand. Second hand down below here and it's this light in the upper right hand corner right there is uh, it says the PM. So if, you, if you practice a little bit it's not too hard to read. Um, you can set the clock by pressing and holding the button and starts out spinning around the minutes going up and after a little bit it'll speed up even faster and let you set the hours um, and then just a single tap will take you to the next mode this is kind of a space mode
They're flying around. Quick tour of the hardware. Here's the matrix of the board. I laid it out on the bed here. Single button. You can flip it over. See what's underneath. There's a 5 volt power supply. Goes down in here to the main PCB. It's actually a prototyping board. I hand wired it. Uh, with a couple of LED drivers, uh, same ones that are used on Peggy, and a couple of shift registers here, and a um, Atmel Atmega 328, Arduino style, some uh, transistors here that are doing the driving for the rows, and then a hand-wired uh, matrix of these LEDs. Uh, it looks like a lot of work, and it took a while, but if you think of it kind of like weaving, um, it's, uh, it's not so much, not so bad. Um, biggest problem I had here was that uh, after I got it all together, a bunch of the red LEDs died, and then more died. Couldn't figure out why, replaced them, and haven't had any fail since. So, uh, the, the board is a piece of sort of foamy plastic. I don't know what, I got it at the local hardware store. I hand drilled all these out. One one drilling went bad, and that's what sort of points out there. But when it's behind the grill, um, you really can't see it. So I hope you like Peggy Lou.